Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Modesty33 here, AKA Crystal with the C, back at you with another video. But before I get started about what this video is pertaining to, if you have not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, you guys. You do that by hitting the red button below. It's completely free of charge. Um, also, make sure you hit the bell next to it so you're notified when I upload all of my videos um, and my next, my very next video. Um, and make sure, um, you know, you guys are checking out some of my prior videos, kind of looking at my flavors, seeing what I'm all about. Um, so you know, again, why you should subscribe. But again, I'm gonna get into what this video is about today. And this video is gonna be a review of my most recent handbag in my collection, which is my Tommy Hilfiger um, mini Gigi Hadid handbag. That is a mouthful. That is what it says on the Tommy Hilfiger website. So that's what I'm gonna call it. But if you look at it on other websites, it's gonna tell you a variation of different things. So um, again, this video is gonna be a review of this bag. I'm not gonna do a what's in my bag in this particular video just because we would be here all day long because there's so much stuff in this bag. If you cannot tell, it is packed to the brim. I will just kind of give you a brief um, look at on the interior so you can just kind of see just some of the stuff I have in here. But if you're interested in a what's in my bag video with this bag, let me know in the comment section below and I can definitely do that in another video. But this video is just gonna be a review and um, just a discussion about this particular bag and giving you the specifications. So let me give you the brief story of this bag. I saw this bag about um, three months ago, like around November, another YouTuber has this bag, um, LEB. Well, I don't know if she still has it, but she had it at the time. She bought her bag from Vestier Collective, which is an online consignment store um, out of the United Kingdom, if I'm not mistaken. But they sell luxury items I've bought from them before. Um, not a handbag, but like a um, accessory item. But um, that's where she got her bag. She talked about the bag back. She did an unboxing and then kind of talked about the bag a little bit back in November. I really liked the bag when I saw it. Um, I liked the fact that it was black. Um, I liked that um, it had this top handle. I think that's what I liked the most about it, that it had the top handle. And it just reminded me of my Pochette Matisse that I have in my collection, Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. So I really liked the bag. Um, and I actually got this bag the end of February or the end of last month. Um, I got it from a website called Macari, um, M-E-R-C-A-R-I. -E they, they also have an app, but um, Macari.com is a website, but they, again, I, I got the app sometime, sometime ago, but it, this is the first item I've actually purchased from the app. Um, this, this bag on the Tommy Hilfiger website retails for $165. Um, I bought this bag off of Macari. Again, the seller was selling it for $70. I got a $5 coupon, which brought it down to $65. And then I had some e, like, um, a refund through Ebates, which I always include Ebates um, in my description box of my videos for you guys to sign up. So you can too save money on your online shopping. Ebates, again, is a website um, that you can go to and if you um, online shop a good bit, you can get money back on your purchases. So that's a good saving. So I always include that in my videos, you guys. So you guys can also save money on your purchases as well. So I had a little bit of money through um, as a rebate through Ebates. And so altogether, I paid about $52 for this bag. Again, like I just said, the bag retails for $165. So that was a really good savings in my book. And I feel like this bag, um, you know, even at retail price, I feel like it's reasonably priced. So I feel like just paying $52 for it, and again, this bag is secondhand, I really felt like it was a good deal. So, and I've used this bag a good bit since getting it. I've used it since March 1st. Um, with my bags, I'm trying to carry them for like an entire month. So I really get a feel for the bag and see if I really like it or if it may be time to sell it. So that's kind of what my process is right now, whereas before I was doing like bi-weekly for my bags. But now I do, again, like every, um, I try to have my bags for a whole month, if possible. So um, I got this bag, again, from the seller Macari for about $52. It just came with the bag. It has um, this charm that it also came with, uh, which is kind of like a little rabbit's foot. Um, that came with the bag, as well as this little charm right here, which I'll come up a little bit closer, but it says Tommy Hilfiger, Gigi Hadid. Um, basically the same thing it says on the front. This is just like a little spot right here I need to clean on the bag, y'all. So in case you see that and you're like, what is that? Yeah, it, it, it will come off. It's just a little spot. 
But yeah, the front of the bag says Tommy Hilfiger, Gigi Hadid. I'm just going to bring you in a little bit closer so you can see. So um, it also has these little stars. It has four feet at the bottom of this bag. I think they say Tommy Hilfiger. And everything else on the bag, I added to it. But it is gold hardware. Um, you can see that. It's got the double zipper. And you see the gold hardware. Um, and let me talk about briefly the things I added to the bag, which is essentially everything on this side of the bag. So um, this side of the bag, I have my Louis Vuitton Stephen Sprouse Leopard Bandeau. I have my um, Lottere bag charm um, that I got when I went to London last summer for vacation. Also, I have this um, keychain that I got when I went to Houston, Texas last year with my best friend. And it just says, don't mess with Texas. We just got this from Walmart. Um, and then I have this little um, keychain as well. Um, and it says Wicked. And it is from the musical Wicked, which is my favorite musical. And um, I got this when I went um, last summer to London as well. So that's everything on that side. And on this side, it's just got the regular bag charms that come with the bag. And then I just have my hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works on here. So the bag has also this top handle again, which I've described above, which I, well, which I also already described. And I love this top handle. That's what attracted me to the bag. And um, again, I have in my collection, a Louis Vuitton Pachet Matisse in the emprunt leather. Um, and the color is red or Charisse. But, um, you know, if you know anything about the Pochette Matisse, it also has a top handle and a strap, um, a removable strap like this one. This one is a removable strap as well. But the difference between this and the Pochette Matisse, besides like, you know, some of the obvious things like the price point, the feet at the bottom, um, you know, you can not only carry the bag like this, you can also carry it in the crook of your arm like this, which you cannot do that with the Pochette Matisse. Um, but like I mentioned before, this strap is removable and it is adjustable. So it's got six little settings here that you can adjust it. It's got, you know, again, this little clasp, which has Tommy on the one side and Hilfiger on the other. Um, again, you can remove this strap and you can carry the bag just as a top handle if you would like to, which I never do that um, because I pack this bag. If you can't tell, it's pretty heavy. So I always have this strap on here, even if I carry it just top handle or even in the crook of my arm, I still have the strap on in case I ever need to put it on crossbody or put it on the shoulder. But um, it's good that the strap is removable. I actually use this strap on a um, on my Louis Vuitton mini pochette that I wore yesterday because I was um, I had an event going on and I could not be bothered to carry my handbag, so I had my mini pochette just with some of my essentials and I used this strap. Um, which it was very comfortable for the entire day. But um, you could also just remove this strap and put like another strap that you like on here. So that's what's good about it as well. Um, I'm trying to think, um, those are kind of the specifications of the bag. I'm just kind of trying to think if I miss anything. But this bag was released um, fall, winter of 2016, according to Tommy Hilfiger. Um, well, it was actually, it's not on the Tommy Hilfiger website. It was on another website that I looked at that talked about this handbag essentially being released in the fall and winter of 2016 um what else i'm just kind of looking on my notes um what else let me talk about the dimensions so the dimensions are it is 22 centimeters in length which that computes to eight inches in length um it is what 19 centimeters um in height so from here to here, and that computes to roughly seven and a half inches. And then the depth of the bag, don't pay attention to the depth of my bag because I don't clearly overstuff my bag. But originally the, the depth of um, the bag is 4.1 inches or 10.5 centimeters. So 10.5 centimeters slash 4.1 inches. But again, I've stuffed my bag, so it might be six inches at this point. I don't know. I don't add a few extra inches because I don't clearly stuffed it to the brim. But um, those are the dimensions of the bag. Um, I think that's everything as far as that's concerned. Now, let me just briefly talk about um, the pros and cons of this bag, in my opinion. Again, I've been wearing this bag since March 1st. Today that I'm filming this video, it is March 18th. So I've been wearing it for over, a little over two weeks straight now. Um, I really, really love the top handle of the bag. I love the top handle. I usually wear a top handle because that's what I love about my Pochette Matisse as well. I love to carry a top handle. Um, I love to wear it also in the crook of my arm, which I said, again, you cannot do that with the Pochette Matisse with that um, top handle strap. I love this strap. It's very comfortable. 
Um, what else do I love about it? Um, I love the optional charms that it comes with because we know people out here paying a good bit of money for charms, but I, I'm glad that they, and these are removable as well. So you could also take these charms off, but I really like that it did come with this, um, these charms with the bag. I really like the four feet at the bottom. Um, again, like I talked about before, the removable strap, I really like the gold hardware and I really like the price point of the bag. I like the fact that I paid $52 for the bag again. And, um, even, but even at $165, I don't think that it's like extravagant or too much, especially when you think about the pochette Matisse that I have. Um, but let's talk about a few of the cons, which there are only again, a few cons. One is that the bag can get very heavy, but the bag by itself is not heavy. It's just really the stuff you put in here. Like I got like a water bottle again, um, like a full, um, well, let me actually open the bag so you can see. So hopefully nothing in here offends you. It's just regular stuff. Um, I do have, you know, feminine items in here as well, but, um, yeah, I'm not, again, I'm not doing a what's in my bag. I'm just kind of showing you like some of the items I have in here and what fits. But again, if you're interested in the what's in my bag, let me know. I can do that in another video. But I just kind of want to talk about the specifications of this bag. But on the interior, I got my pick over here falling out. Let me put that down. But um, on the interior, it does have like this lining and it says GG. Um, I guess that would be another con for me. I don't really like that on the interior, but it does not really matter. It doesn't detract from the bag for me. Um, but I don't like the GG like all on the interior of the bag, you know, all on the interior. But I like the fact too, that it's got this like, um, little fabric on the side. So none of your items will fall out if you zip it all the way down on either side. So I like that as well. But um, it's got two slip pockets on the inside and then it's got a zipper pocket in the back. But again, you can see, you could stuff a lot of different items in here. I have a full size lotion in here from Bath and Body Works, um, like this size. I have like the water bottle that I have in here is like a mini water bottle. So it's not like a full size water bottle. Um, but again, you know, I've got my mini pochette in here and I've got like a, a bunch of other stuff in here that I probably don't need, but it's in here anyway and it can fit in here. So, um, you know, again, the bag can get heavy, so that's a con to it. But again, that's user error. It's the fact that I stuff my bag and I don't know how to leave stuff home. So that that's not the bag's fault. Don't blame it. Don't don't blame Tommy Hilfiger for that. So that's my bad. Um, and then the biggest con of the bag though is like it's sold out. So that was for me. That's why it's taking me so long to actually get this bag. But it worked out for me in the end because again, I just paid fifty two dollars for it, um, and I got a good savings from what the retail price was. Um, and you know, again, it came with the bag, the charm, and I don't know if I showed you guys the dust bag, but it came with this dust bag as well, which is, you know, nothing special, but it's just nice to have the dust bag with the bag when I do, you know, actually, um, change out of this bag and store it. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much the bag, you guys. I think that's everything I wanted to say about this bag. I bought this bag to replace another one that I'm actually selling, and this bag I'm selling here. Um, because since I got this one, I no longer need this one, um, which I really wasn't using this one anyway. But again, with this one, it's, it's a good bit bigger if you can look in comparison to them. And plus it's got the top handle, which I really, again, love and the removable strap. This one is actually, it's the J Crew Signet Bag is what it's called. It comes in a lot of different colors. It has a clochette here that's got keys in here to a lock that's right here on the side, which I never, ever use. But what's good about this bag is um, it's actually got a, um, a exterior pocket where you could actually put your phone or other items in there. Also on the J Crew website, they allow for you to get um, your initials monogram. And I do have my initials monogram on here. Um, I'm still selling the bag anyway. Hopefully it still sells. I don't know. Somebody CC him out there. But um, it's got, you know, kind of like again with this bag, this Tommy Hilfiger bag, it's got like a zippered interior pocket, but it's got two slip pockets right here on the side. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of like the spacious interior. I bought this bag because, um, I got this bag in 2016, but I got this one, um, kind of because like I've been seeing the, um, Gucci Soho Disco and I really like that bag, but I did not necessarily want that, um, to pay the price point for that bag, even though it was really popular and trending at the time. And it looked like it was going to be a really nice crossbody bag. I still um, elected to get this one, which this one costs more actually than this one again. So um, 
But the last time I used this bag, it's really been almost a year since I used this bag. I used this bag when I went to the World Natural Hair Show last year in Atlanta. That's the last time I used this bag. So actually I'm selling this um, through eBay. But if any of you who are watching this video are interested in this bag, let me know. I can, we can, you know, talk about the price of it. If you're interested in it, it didn't have a dust bag to my recollection or anything. So it, it would really just come as is. Um, you know, again, with the clochette and with the lock that's never been used. You know, again, um, it's a nice bag. It's a really nice, simple leather bag, everyday bag, but I just never used it. So, um, I think that's pretty much it, you guys. So, um, if you have any questions about this bag, though, let me know in the comment box. Um, uh, like if you want to see what's in my bag, I can do that. Or if you want to do a comparison between like what fits in here and my, um, Louis Vuitton, um, Pochette Matisse in the Empreinte Leather, I can definitely do a comparison between them as far as like what fits in here and what fits in that bag. Um, I can definitely again do that video um, if you're interested in anything like that or again, like I said, or, or what's in my bag or just in general, if you have any questions about any of the bags that you've seen on my channel, I can definitely do a video about that. But um, that's pretty much it, you guys. So again, if you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you um, subscribe to my channel. Again, you do that by hitting the red button below. Um, also, hit the bell next to it so you're notified when I upload my next video. Um, also, again, make sure you comment below. Let me know what you're interested in seeing next. Um, I just wanted to do this video today because I felt like I was having a fairly good hair day, which is, for me, far in between. I'm very critical of my hair. I'm going to keep it 100. Um, and then I still have my makeup on from church. So I didn't want to waste it. I'm like, let me just go ahead and do this video. Cause I've been wanting to do this video anyway. So that's pretty much it again, you guys. Um, I really appreciate you watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.